In this video, we will uh, discuss how to write hypothesis in AP biology. Hypothesis explains a causal relationship between observable phenomenon, the dependent variable, and uh, between the independent variable, and it has to be a testable statement. For our example, uh, we, we can say that acidity of the soil may decrease plants growth. So this is a general statement. We have to make it a, a more precise statement that is going to be testable. So first we have to uh, identify the independent variable. That's the pH of the soil. And we have to identify the dependent variable that is the plant's growth. This is the dependent variable. So the template to write a testable hypothesis is if, and we add the dependent variable, the plant's height, we add a relationship how this dependent variable relates to the independent variable. Relationship words uh, can be depends on, effects, results in. So depends on, we will add depends on the independent variable in this case is the soil acidity. Then the plant will show, the object will show, in, the, in our case, the plant. We use a trend word. The trend word can be increases, decreases, more, less. So we just add a decreased dependent variable. We'll come here, the growth. So then the plant will show a decreased growth when, and again the object, the plant is exposed to, we add again a trend word, checking the trend, what will happen, increases, decreases, uh, higher, lower, high, low, more, less. So we will say is exposed to low and independent variable, pH value of the soil. In class, we will just uh, practice a couple of more to write a general statement into a testable hypothesis. But the other topic is uh, not only a testable hypothesis, but we have to uh, focus on using statistics, uh, basic statistics to test uh, different statements and uh, in this case the hypothesis is going to be a working hypothesis. The original thought is I think that adding caffeine to the water may, may make the onion's root grow longer in size. So this is the original thought. Now the there are two uh, working hypotheses, the null hypothesis that states that there's no difference between the groups of data. The difference between the group's data is due to chance. And also the alternative hypothesis that states the experimental observation that the data of the groups are different is the result of some non-random cause. So here is the beaker. We place an onion in the beaker and uh, in the beaker we have water, but not to let the onion fall in, so we add toothpicks to the sides. And we compare the results, uh, the dependent variable, the, if we add caffeine to the water. So we have two sets, no caffeine with onion and caffeine with onion independent variable is the presence or the absence of the caffeine and the dependent variable is the growth. 
So the null hypothesis, if we write it out, if caffeine is added to the water, the length of the root of the onion will grow the same amount as the other onion's root that received only water and no caffeine. So there's no difference between the length. The alternative, yeah. Oh. So the difference is due to chance. The alternative hypothesis says, on the other hand, uh, points out the difference. So if caffeine is added to the water, the length of the root of the onion will glow, grow longer in size than the onion that received only water and no caffeine. So there is going to be a difference. Now we will do the uh, statistical testing, the t-test for example, and the testing outcome can happen in uh, two ways. If the group's data difference is due to chance only, so we will say we fail to, uh, the null hypothesis we fail to reject because there is no correlation between the dependent and independent variables. It, and as well as the alternative hypothesis is rejected. If the group's data difference is the result of a non-random uh, cause, in this case, we reject the null hypothesis and we fail to reject the alternative hypothesis. Please pay attention, fail to reject, it is not equal to accept. We never accept anything, just fail to reject. Thank you.